Geophagia, Wikipedia Audio Geophagia is the practice of eating earth or soil-like substrates such as clay or chalk. It occurs in non-human animals where it may be a normal or abnormal behavior, and also in humans, most often in rural or pre-industrial societies among children and pregnant women. 33 Human geophagia may be related to pica, an eating disorder in the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders characterized by abnormal cravings for non-nutritive items. Some researchers believe that humans first ate soil in Africa. The oldest evidence of geophagia practiced by humans comes from the Ayurveda Sharika Samhita, thousands of year ago where it has been identified as one of the causes for anemia, the condition was termed as Mridbakshanajanya Pandu and prehistoric site at Kalambo Falls on the border between Zambia and Tanzania. Here, a calcium-rich white clay was found alongside the bones of Homo habilis. Humans Geophagia is nearly universal around the world in tribal and traditional rural societies. In the ancient world, several writers noted the phenomenon of geophagia. Pliny is said to have noted the ingestion of soil on Lemnos, an island of Greece, and the use of the soils from this island was noted until the 14th century. The textbook of Hippocrates mentions geophagia and the famous medical textbook titled De Medicina edited by A. Cornelius Celsus seems to link anemia to geophagia. Early explorers in the Americas noted the existence of geophagy amongst Native Americans, including Gabriel Soares de Souza, who in 1587 reported a tribe in Brazil using it in suicide, and Alexander von Humboldt who said that a tribe called the Otomax ate large amounts of soil. In Africa, David Livingstone wrote about slaves eating soil in Zanzibar, and it is also thought that large numbers of slaves brought with them soil-eating practices when they were shipped to the New World as part of the transatlantic slave trade. Slaves who practiced geophagia were nicknamed clay eaters because they were known to consume clay as well as spices, ash, chalk, grass, plaster, paint, and starch. In more recent times, according to Dixie's Forgotten People, the South's poor whites, geophagia was common among poor whites in the southeastern United States in the 19th and early 20th centuries, and was often ridiculed in popular literature. The literature also states, many men believed that eating clay increased sexual prowess, and some females claimed that eating clay helped pregnant women to have an easy delivery. Geophagia among Southerners may have been caused by the high prevalence of hookworm disease, of which the desire to consume soil is a symptom. In Africa, Kaolin, sometimes known as Kalaba and Cameroon, Kalaba and Kalabakup, is eaten for pleasure or to suppress hunger. Kaolin for human consumption is sold at most markets in Cameroon and is often flavored with spices such as black pepper and cardamom. Consumption is greatest among women, especially during pregnancy. Another example of geophagia was reported in Free State Province in South Africa where the practice was geochemically investigated. In Haiti, people afflicted by poverty are known to eat biscuits made from soil, salt, and vegetable shortening. These biscuits hold minimal nutritional value, but manage to keep the poor alive. However, long-term consumption of the biscuits is reported to cause stomach pains and malnutrition, and is not recommended by doctors. In the United States, cooked, baked, and processed dirt and clay are sold in health food stores and rural flea markets in the South. In the rural areas of Mississippi and other southern states, 
the consumption of clay-rich dirt has been a common custom and has been practiced by poor whites and blacks for generations. However, geophagia has become less prevalent as rural Americans assimilate into urban culture. Bentonite clay is available worldwide as a digestive aid, kaolin is also widely used as a digestive aid and as the base for some medicines. Adipulgite, another type of clay, is an active ingredient in many anti-diarrheal medicines. Geophagia is widespread in the animal kingdom. Galen, the Greek philosopher and physician, was the first to record the use of clay by sick or injured animals in the 2nd century AD. This type of geophagia has been documented in many species of mammals, birds, reptiles, butterflies, and isopods, especially among herbivores. Many species of South American parrots have been observed at clay licks, and sulfur-crested cockatoos have been observed ingesting clays in Papua New Guinea. Anthropological and Historical Evidence Analysis of soils consumed by wild birds show that they often prefer soils with high clay content, usually with the smectite clay families being well represented. The preference for certain types of clay or soil can lead to unusual feeding behavior. For example, Peruvian Amazon rainforest parrots congregate not just at one particular bend of the Manu River but at one specific layer of soil which runs hundreds of meters horizontally along that bend. The parrots avoid eating the substrate in layers one meter above or below the preferred layer. These parrots regularly eat seeds and unripe fruits containing alkaloids and other toxins that render the seeds and fruits bitter and even lethal. Because many of these chemicals become positively charged in the acidic stomach, they bind to clay minerals which have negatively charged cation exchange sites, and are thereby rendered safe. Their preferred soils have a much higher cation exchange capacity than the adjacent, rejected layers of soils because they are rich in the minerals smectite, kaolin, and mica. The preferred soils surpass the pure mineral kaolinate and surpass or approach pure bentonite in their capacity to bind quinine and tannic acid. In vitro and in vivo tests of these soils and many others from southeastern Peru indicate that they also release nutritionally important quantities of minerals such as calcium and sodium. In the Manu River example cited above, the preferred soil bands had much higher levels of sodium than those that were not chosen. Repeated studies have shown that the soils consumed most commonly by parrots in South America have higher sodium contents than those that are not consumed. It is unclear which factor is driving avian geophagy. However, Evidence is mounting that sodium is the most important driver among parrots in southeastern Peru. Parrots are known to eat toxic foods globally, but geophagy is concentrated in very specific regions. Researchers Lee Etal show that parrot geophagy in South America is positively correlated to a significant degree with distance from the ocean. This suggests that overall lack of sodium in the ecosystem, not variation in food toxicity, is a better predictor of the spatial distribution of geophagy. This work, coupled with the recent findings of consistently high sodium levels in consumed soils, make it highly likely that sodium is the primary driver of avian geophagy among parrots in the western Amazon basin. There are several hypotheses about the importance of geophagia in bats and primates, 436 chimpanzees in Kibel National Park, Uganda, have been observed to consume soil rich in kaolinite clay shortly before or after consuming plants including Trichilia rubes sens, which possesses anti-malarial properties in the laboratory. There is debate over whether geophagia in bats is primarily for nutritional supplementation or detoxification. 
it is known that some species of bats regularly visit mineral or salt licks to increase mineral consumption. However, Voigt et al. demonstrated that both mineral deficient and healthy bats visit salt licks at the same rate. Therefore, mineral supplementation is unlikely to be the primary reason for geophagia in bats. Additionally, bat presence at salt licks increases during periods of high energy demand. Voigt et al. concluded that the primary purpose for bat presence at salt licks is for detoxification purposes, compensating for the increased consumption of toxic fruit and seeds. This was shown to be especially evident in lactating and pregnant bats, as their food intake increases to meet higher energy demands. Clay minerals have been reported to have beneficial microbiological effects, such as protecting the stomach against toxins, parasites, and pathogens. Humans are not able to synthesize vitamin B12, so geophagia may be a behavioral adaption to obtain it from bacteria in the soil. Mineral content in soils may vary by region, but many contain high levels of calcium, copper, magnesium, iron, and zinc, minerals that are critical for developing fetuses which can cause metallic, soil, or chewing ice cravings in pregnant women. To the extent that these cravings, and subsequent mineral consumption are therapeutically effective decreasing infant mortality, those genetic predispositions and the associated environmental triggers, are likely to be found in the infant as well. Likewise, multigenerationally impoverished villages or other homogeneous socio-economic closed genetic communities are more likely to have rewarded gene expression of soil or clay consumption cravings by increasing the likelihood of survival through multiple pregnancies for both sexes. Contemporary Practices Animals There are obvious health risks in the consumption of soil that is contaminated by animal or human feces, in particular, helminth eggs, such as Ascaris, which can stay viable in the soil for years, can lead to helminth infections. WHS Biotech Burundi Tech Hub is doing trials on pre-boiling of kaolinite for vegan food additive export. Tetanus poses a further risk. Lead poisoning is also associated with soil ingestion, as well as health risks associated with zinc exposure can be eminent among people who eat soils on regular basis. Birds Primates Bats Impact on Health Notes